Hello everybody and welcome to another session of Let's Learn German. I hope you had a great time previous session of Let's Learn German and today before we start I would like to revise the previous session once again. So let's do it. Yesterday's session we learned some structures and those structures were V heißen Z. Ich heise Nishant. V heißen Z. Ich heise Nishant. As I told you, it means what is your name? My name is Nishant. In German, there is another possibility to ask somebody's name, and that is V ist ihr Name. My name is Nishant. V ist ihr Name. My name is Nishant. Another structure which we did was woher kommen Sie? Ich komme aus Delhi. Woher kommen Sie? Ich komme aus Delhi. Where do you come from? I come from Delhi. Wo wohnen Sie? Ich wohne in Hyderabad. Wo wohnen Sie? Ich Wohne in Hyderabad. Where do you live? I live in Hyderabad. In the previous session, we learned how to ask somebody in an informal and in a formal context, how are you? Are you fine? And the answers given also to those questions. As I told you in the previous session, in German language, informal and formal contexts are extremely important. So let's revise the structures which we did in the previous session asking somebody how are you, are you fine and the answers also for those questions. Wie geht es dir? Danke, es geht mir gut. As you can see from this smiley here, it means that the person is fine. And the person asks somebody, Und wie geht es dir? Danke, es geht mir auch gut. Und wie geht es dir? Danke, es geht mir auch gut. And how are you? Thank you, I am also fine. In the same manner, in the formal context, we ask, Wie geht es Ihnen? Danke, es geht mir gut. And the question again to the other person. Und wie geht es Ihnen? Danke, es geht mir auch gut. Hel how are you? Thank you, I am fine. And how are you? Thank you, I am also fine. As you can see this from smiling faces which are drawn here, the person are all inquiring about each other and they are all happy and fine. As I told you in the previous session, you can notice some difference in differences in both the sentence structure. Dear, as I told you in the previous session, means an informal context is the informal pronoun marker and inan is the formal pronoun marker in this context. For Hindi speakers, it is equivalent to Tu or Tum and Enan would be roughly equivalent to Aap. One more word of caution. This word Dear does not mean in any way the English word D-E-A-R or D-E-R. So please keep it in mind before you start using this word. So. That was the previous session. Now let's do something today completely new and again with lots of fun. Okay? As I told you, let's start something new. And today we are going to start the alphabet in German. German alphabet are similar or the same as in English language. There are 
four more alphabets which we do later. So let's start those alphabets. As you can see, if you take a closer look, all the alphabets are the same as in English, but the pronunciation is different. So let's do the pronunciation and enter the language in a very structured way. So let's start A, B, C, D, A. Please repeat A, B, C, D, A. F, G, H, E, J. Let's repeat F, G, H, E, E J K L M N O let's repeat K L M N O P Q R S T P Q R S J U V V X Y Z U V V X Y Z So as you can see this is just like English but the pronunciation is completely different it seems tough at the beginning, but let's practice all the alphabets once again. So please repeat after me. A, B, C, D, A. F, G, H, E, J. K, L, M, N, O. P Q R S T U V V X Y Z So now let's look at the other four special characters or alphabets in the German language. They are U U a and this is called Schaffer's S, U, which is a combination of two vowels U, E, U, which is a combination of two vowels O, E, A, which is a combination of two vowels O, A, E, and Schaffer's S is an exception, which is a combination of a single alphabet S and which comes together it is called S and these two marks on top of U, O and A are called umlaut as you can see U, O and A are here in capital letters you can also according to your requirement use it in small letters like U, O, A and S. So let's repeat once again. U, U, A, S. U, U, A, S. So now start with the alphabets and some words associated with them. Let's start. A, apple. A, apple. B, baum. B, baum. C, shemi. C, shemi. D, datum. D, datum. A, elephant. A 
elephant, F, fish, F, fish, K, carton, G, carton, H, house, H, house, E, Indian, E, Indian, Yacht, Yanua, Yacht, Yanua. Let's repeat. A, Apple, A, Apple, B, Baum, B, Baum, C, Shemi, C, Shemi, D, Datum, D, Datum, A, Elephant, A, Elephant, F, Fish, G, Garten, H, House, E, Indian, J, Yanua. So, how was it? Difficult, easy. As you can see, it is not that difficult if you practice. And now, we will go to the other sets of alphabet. Okay? Ka, Katze. Ka, Katze. L, Leiter. L, Leiter. M, Montag. M, Montag. N, Nachricht. N, Nachricht. O, Oma. O, Oma. P, Platz. P, Platz. Q, Qualität. Q, Qualität. R, Rot, R, Rot, S, Seite, S, Seite, T, Tisch, T, Tisch, U, Uhr, U, Uhr, V, Vater, V, Vater, W, Wagen, W, Wagen, X, Xylophon, X, Xylophon, Y, Yoga, Y, Yoga, Set, Zeit. As set Zeit. Let's revise once again. Katze, L Leiter, M Montag, N Nachricht, O Oma, P Platz, Q Qualität, R Rot, S Seite, T Tisch. U Uhr, V Vater, B Wagen, X Xylophon, Y Yoga, Z Zeit. So, these are the alphabets in German.
Now, let's do the remaining four special characters or the typical German alphabets. Ü, über, ü, über, ü, öl, ü, öl, e, äpfel, e, äpfel, es, heißen, es, heißen. Let's repeat. Ü, über, ü, öl, e, Äpfel es heißen. These are the alphabets in the German language. The initial alphabets which we did are same as in English but with different pronunciation and the ones which we did right now are only limited to German and they are either called special characters or they are the part of the German alphabets. I hope you had a great time learning the alphabets today and you would revise them again for our next session. So till we meet for the next session, keep learning German and don't forget to revise. Okay? So as we did in the previous session, how do we say bye? Tschüss and till we meet again, auf Wiedersehen. I say tschüss, auf Wiedersehen.